welcome to my latest tutorial on Cinema 4D release 13. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a sound effect uh, working with an object which is pretty much just objects moving around to sound which is quite easy to do and it's very easy if the steps are followed. So as you can see here I've kind of set up this little uh, stage kind of thing. I don't really what it is, it's just a load of boxes which I put colour to with sound. So basically if I click play what will happen is the sound goes along with the music and the boxes move with it. I'm really terrible at talking today, I don't quite know why, but yeah anyway, create a new project. I normally line up for some reason and then I always end up moving it in a minute anyway but it's quite nice to line it up just see what it's like. You want to go into your render settings and change it to to 1280 by 720 which is standard uh, YouTube widescreen HD format so that'll come out in 720p and basically what you've got to do is go into objects create a plane Let's see like I've moved it straight away anyway so it's a bit pointless of me lining it up but yeah create a material I always try and create materials and make everything look nice before I start working and then go into cube and once you've placed in the cube, move it down. I'm going to make it quite long because it looks quite nice if the bars are quite longer because you get quite a lot of depth when the music's playing. So then go into Cloner and drop cube into Cloner and then click on Cloner. And then as you can see, I'm on Linear, so you want to change that to Grid Array under Mode. You can change it later on, but stick with me for now. Change all the counts to 5x5x5. Five by five by five then drag it out by using little clip-ons at the bottom and make sure there's space. It doesn't matter if there isn't, but just try and make some space. And just, if you click play, nothing's happening, obviously. Then what we're going to do is click on it, go up to MoGraph, make sure this is clicked again, and then click on sound. And as you can see, a new box has come up. And then what you're going to do is make sure it's on effector, click dot 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 by sound file, then click on the song that you want to use, so it has to be a WAV file. I tend to use uh, 44, 100 hertz or 12 kilobits per second or 128 kilobits per second, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Um, you know, as long as it's a WAV file, I think it's fine. So I'm going to change my frames per second up to around about 5,000 because the song is quite long. So as you can see, if I click play, it moved a little bit then but not that much. So we want to make that move obviously a lot more. So once you've done that, go back onto your sound file, sorry, not not clone or what I clicked on then. Up the strength to as much as you want. It really doesn't matter. Depends what kind of effects you want. And as you can see, they all move together again. So if you want to go down to apply mode, then click on the drop down box and click on the step, which basically means it moves it down in kind of like a cascading kind of thing so each one moves individually to a different part of the song so you've got treble bass and as you can see there it's all moving to different parts of the song so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward you could change that to all it depends how you want to have it really you can add in some fancy lights it's pretty much the same as what you'd normally do in cinema 4d and then obviously you can render it or whatever so yeah that's basically what it looks like uh, it's a very quick tutorial so thank you for watching and yeah, goodbye.